She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. She's at the stage where all she wants to do is pray, focus, manifest, and hustle. So she's releasing negative energy and welcoming peace. She's no longer easily accessible. She's in her own lane. And there's no speed limit or traffic to slow her down. This is the story of Annika Townsend, aged 35, a popular Instagram influencer, whose decomposing body was found and retrieved from the ocean. She was found floating in the water off Reading, St. Andrew Parish, Montego Bay, Jamaica one early morning in October. She had been strangled and shot in the head by some dude she met earlier named Rushane Patterson. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. The body believed to be that of popular social media influencer Anika Townsend, popularly known as Slicky Anna, was fished from the sea off the shores of a bathing beach in Reading St. James this morning. This story will be taking us to Montego Bay, Jamaica. The city is known for its beautiful beaches, notably Doctor's Cave Beach, in addition to outdoor attractions like gardens, golf courses and adventure tours. Part of Live and Let Die in the James Bond movie franchise was shot in Montego Bay, also is the legend Bob Marley born and buried at Nine Mile. Annika Townsend was a mother to a young boy who she adored and loved dearly, unfortunately he would be without a mother for the rest of his life. Annika, sometimes known as Kyan or Slickiana, was an influential person from Jamaica. With over 300,000 Instagram followers, she is a female fashionista and social media influencer. Annika Townsend, a businesswoman, owns Slick P. Sesha and Slick Yana 876. She represented the brands of Thelish Spaja, Havendale Healthcare, Jack and Life, and Brits Nails Limited as a brand ambassador. In her final TikTok video from October 18 with 165,000 views, Annika can be seen holding the keys to her new house along with the caption, New Beginning. Sometimes last October, Annika, Slickiana, Townsend's body was discovered by the seaside close to Reading, St. James. Beachgoers found the 35-year lifeless old's body lying in the surf near Reading, St. Andrew Parish. Witnesses informed officers of the horrible discovery, and the Marine Division of the Jamaica Constabulary Force was brought in to aid in pulling her body from the ocean. Annika's body was found with a head injury, possibly caused by a gunshot. However, no official cause of death has been announced yet. She had slashes to her head and neck and was in a semi-naked position when she was pulled out of the ocean. Police since had a press release and also named Rushane Chizzy Patterson as a person of interest in the slaying. The body believed to be that of popular social media influencer Anika Townsend, popularly known as Slicky Anna, was fished from the sea off the shores of a bathing beach in Reading St. James this morning. Investigations revealed that the body had what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the back of the head. Reports are that about 9.30 a.m., a resident discovered the body floating face down in the water and summoned the police. Upon arrival, the police were forced to seek assistance from the Marine Police to remove the body from the water. A towel covered in blood and a female wig were also removed from the scene. An investigation has been launched by the Anchovy Police into the latest incident. After some investigation, 
it was revealed that Annika had traveled from Kingston to Montego Bay where she was picked up by Patterson at approximately 7.30 p.m. During the course of the evening, they visited a restaurant in Hanover and a guest house in St. James. It was learned that at some point during the night, an argument developed between them, which resulted in Patterson strangling Annika and disposing of her body. Patterson was given the chance to show up at the police station for a brief interrogation but he refused to show up. It is said that Patterson is the son of a prominent person and for this reason, he feels he is above the law, making him do what he wants. The police have once again renewed their call for the person of interest in connection with the death of 35-year-old social media influencer Anika Slickiana Townsend to turn himself in. Roshane Patterson, whom the police say they believe can assist them greatly with their investigations into the death of Ms. Townsend, had not made himself available. Patterson was given a deadline of 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Up to news time this evening, there has not been any report that he has complied with the order from the police. Senior police investigators probing the case say that based on preliminary investigations, the deceased woman was last seen alive in the company of Patterson at a popular restaurant in Hanover. The lawmen, while quick to point out that Patterson is just wanted for questioning at this time, explain that he is no stranger to the police given his history. The police explain that despite the plethora of charges, Roshane Patterson was only convicted for wounding with intent, a charge that had been scaled down from attempted murder and was given a suspended sentence. Patterson was also allegedly charged with abducting and raping a woman as well as killing her partner in 2013. He was freed when he appeared before the St. Andrew Parish Court. It is further reported that the judge threw out the case against Patterson after prosecutors conceded that they could not find the primary witness. Patterson is being asked to turn himself over to the Freetown police station immediately. After diligent surveillance work by the Jamaican police, Patterson was arrested during a high-level, intelligence-driven police operation. Roshane Patterson, the person of interest in the murder of social media influencer Anika Slickiana Townsend, is now in police custody. On November 3rd, a day after he was captured in relation to Anika's death, Jamaican police charged Patterson with abduction and assault occasioning bodily harm to his ex-girlfriend. Her allegations stem from a 2018 incident in Duhaney Park, St. Andrew, where the woman said she met up with Patterson, also called Chizzy, her ex-boyfriend, at a gas station in the area. While in his car, he showed her a photo of her current boyfriend and became angry and violent after demanding to know how many times they had intercourse and also accused her of being an informer for the police. The woman alleges that he held her against her will, choked her, and punched her several times. Patterson also allegedly threatened to kill her and dispose of her body after he demanded that she withdraw her money from an ATM and give it to him. Patterson is connected to a 2014 sexual assault and murder where he allegedly slashed a woman's throat after sexually assaulting her and leaving her to die. The victim who later survived was with her partner at the time, and he died after jumping from the trunk of the moving car Patterson allegedly drove. The case was dismissed in 2017 after the victim did not turn up for court. Rushane Patterson is also said to be in court for another sexual assault matter that is ongoing in Westmoreland. Patterson, the man named as a person of interest in the death of Anika Slickiana Townsend, was charged today. Assistant Commissioner of Police ACP Clifford Chambers, commander of the Area 1 Police Division, said that Patterson, who was picked up in Hanover some time after 1 a.m. by an Area 1 operational team this morning, was charged following a question and answer session in the presence of an attorney. ACP Chambers also said that the operation was executed late last night into the wee hours of this morning at the Palm Tree Guest House in Green Island, and it was executed by members of the Area 1 team. Roshan Patterson, otherwise called Chizzy, who is of a Harvey River, Hanover address, with the murder of 35-year-old social media influencer, Anika Townsend, otherwise called Kayan or Slickiana. Miss Townsend's body was retrieved by the Marine Police in the waters in the Reading area of the parish of St. James on the morning of Friday, October 21st, 2022. A post-mortem examination that was conducted on her body on November 5th 
concluded that her death was caused by strangulation. The postmortem estimates that Ms. Townsend was killed at some time between the hours of 11 p.m. Thursday, October 20th and 9 a.m. October 21st. The facts are that on Thursday, October 20th, Ms. Townsend traveled from Kingston to Montego Bay, where she was picked up by Pattison at approximately 7.30 p.m. During the course of the evening, they visited a restaurant in Hanover and a guest house in St. James. At some point in the night, an argument developed between them, which resulted in Ms. Townsend being strangled by Pattison and her body disposed. Investigations are ongoing as it is suspected that Mr. Pattison may have been involved in other incidents similar to those for which he has been charged. As a result, detectives are appealing to the public for any information that may assist. Rushane Patterson was given bail in the sum of $500,000 when he made an appearance in the St. James Circuit Court. He will go back to court on March 6, 2023 for trial. At such a moment, I hope I don't get tearful. I knew Anika personally, and she's such a bubbly person. Anybody who says they have a thing with Anika, if you and I have something, she just dismiss it. Never in confrontation, and for someone to hurt her like that, it really hurts. She, not, she didn't deserve it. Regardless of what people are saying, no one deserves this. No one. No one deserved that. No one. The man who says his, his father died and no one. Because no one loves your father. People love Anika so everyone is going to cheer for her. And you know, I don't understand it. But God is in the midst of everything. And I we hope Annika gets the justice she deserves. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Annika Townsend. May Annika's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for gun violence survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.